Hey there, in this quick video I'm going to cover the ins and outs of creating a purchase order for your order. There's many people ordering promotional products, contract decorating, be it screen printing, embroidery, dye sub, direct to garment. We see a lot of orders coming in and sometimes they don't always have purchase orders with them. So I'm going to cover in a few quick slides here just what you need to do to create a purchase order so there's no surprises and everybody gets what they want. So without further ado, let's cover what is a purchase order. All right, A purchase order is a legal document. It outlines what it is you're purchasing. Um, how much you're expecting to pay for these goods and services, when you want to receive them, how are you receiving them, are they being delivered, are you picking them up, are they being shipped out, is it being blind shipped. In a nutshell, it's a contract between you and your supplier or decorator. And with a purchase order, there's no surprises on either side. So, what's the big deal about a purchase order? Well, believe it or not, your suppliers, contract decorators, and their staff aren't psychic. No matter how much I expect my staff to be psychic, and I've been trying to make them psychic for years, it doesn't happen. Psychic staff just isn't a service I can offer. And so, with all of the hands that are on your order from the day it shows up, whether it gets UPSed in or whether you drop off boxes of shirts, there's so many different people involved in it that if there's not a purchase order mistakes are bound to happen so if you provide a properly written PO everybody's on the same page it doesn't matter if you drop something off to, to a front counter staff who leaves it to o'clock and nobody looks at it again until three with a purchase order everybody knows what's going on and there's no surprises so this is what a purchase order looks like. I just went and got this. It's a free purchase order. I am using the new version of Microsoft Word and I went to create a new document and searched for a purchase order template and found one. So we're going to go over this in detail here. But purchase orders come in all different designs and shapes and sizes. If you work with a larger company, you might have a purchase order template that's standardized. If you're an independent, you probably need to come up with your own. But Every PO will have three different sections, and I've broken it down here, called them A, B, and C. You've got A up top here, which is the head of the PO. B is the middle, that's the body of the PO, and C is the footer. And so I'm going to go over each of these sections in detail here and show you just what you need to put together to make a good PO. So the head of the PO, the purchase order tells a story, and for every good story you need the who, what, when, and where. So the head covers the who, the when, and the where. Uh, covers who you are. All right. So in this this PO I threw together here, it's from Awesome Distributor Inc. It tells me as the supplier, I look at this, I know how to find them, I know how to reach them, I know all the details I need. It tells me who's doing the work. Is this PO really meant for me? You'd be surprised. Your decorators and suppliers will occasionally get orders that were meant to go to other people this helps eliminate that as well so is this really my order what am I doing with it where am I going to ship it to is there a number I should reference on the invoice um, how is it going to ship out what are the shipping terms should it go on my UPS account your UPS account and when do you need it in hand that's the key part that delivery date this allows your decorator to know when you have to have this product in hand then we move on to the body, which is the what. And this is the meat and potatoes of the PO here. So I put together a PO for a screen printing job. Two color front, three color back. So first line item on the PO here is screen setup. So we've got five screens at $20 a screen, so $100 in setup. Below that, we've got, looks to be for 180 shirt order, two color front, three color back. So this second line here, covers doing the front of the shirt. It's white and royal blue. So we've got our unit price and our line total. Then we have the third line. Again, 180 shirts, and this is for the back. So we've got a three color print. So we've got our unit price, our line total. And on the bottom here, there's a little note that says, pack in two boxes with large and extra large and separate boxes. So this tells me we've got special packing that needs to be done. So this will be entered in on the shop work order so the staff knows what to do with it. And then down here we've got the subtotal and the total. So nobody gets surprised on price. 
you'd probably be surprised how many times somebody has uh, commented when they picked a job up, oh, this is not what I was expecting to pay for it. Well, all of your contract decorators have price lists. If you don't know how to read their price list, ask them. They'll be more than happy to explain it to you and make sure that you understand the ins and outs of their particular pricing structure. Then on the bottom is the footer section. The footer is just any miscellaneous info. So in this PO I put together here, I have down, send your invoice to this email address uh, and notify this immediately if you're unable to ship it as specified. Just two key pieces of information there. So it's really not that difficult to put together a PO. Think of it kind of like an invoice, except you're not invoicing your customer. You're writing up the invoice your decorator is going to use when they bill you. So you want to make sure everything is there. As a wholesale buyer, you get special pricing. You know, your decorator either does not work with end buyers at all, or only works with certain end buyers. They aren't charging you for this. So when you work with a retail company when you work with your customers you build the cost of billing them into your final price your decorators don't do that they expect you to write a purchase order so there's great purchase order templates out there you can find them online if you like I said earlier if you work for a larger promotional products network you probably have a great template already I know I'm a huge fan of the I Promote You template. Every time one comes across my desk, I love working with them. They have all the information I need, the who, what, when, and where. Everything is right there. It's in an easy-to-read format, and everybody knows what to do when it comes across. So now that you have that, you can go ahead and order whatever you need, wherever you need, and get it on time without any surprises. So now you've got your PO made. The next step is to save it as a PDF or print it out. You can either email that PDF of the of your purchase order over or fax it. Most decorators work with both. I know we have some some of our customers that like to fax in orders and we have others that will email them in. Either way, if you have a PO that tells the who, what, when and where, you're going to get your work on time and in a professional manner. It's just a key part of this business. So good luck and I look forward to seeing you in the future.